screen printing setup and uh, registration for your second color. So in this video, I've already printed my first layer. Uh, and what I'm talking about here is just a reminder from my setup video from setting up your station is setting up all your spaces. So tightening in your screen frame, making sure you have your spacers on, your mylar is down nice and flat with one single piece of tape so that the mylar doesn't shift around. Um, and so that I can flip that back and forth. I've got a sponge and water in a bucket. I've got my ink and my spatula ready to go. And I have my squeegee that is larger than my image in, in one direction that I pull. Depending on your setup at your station, you might be able to position these in a different way. But I could pull this with a smaller squeegee and pull these images separately because they're separated by a gap, but usually you want to do this all in one pull. The smaller the squeegee, the easier it is to pull your image, if you recall. So I have my blue tape as well that's going to act as a spacer for my screen, and then I'm also going to cover up any sort of pinholes or any areas where ink might come through that I don't want it to that maybe happen by accident or error um, while I expose my screen. So now I can go ahead and lay down my ink bead. So I'm getting ready to print now. So with my screen up, I'm laying down a bead of ink in front of the image. So I don't want to put this over my stencil uh, because ink will start pushing through or I'll get a buildup of ink. So I put this on the outside edge in that um, trough area. Uh, I need enough to cover the, the length of my squeegee. Um, this is kind of talking about the angle that I want to pull out. So always kind of at a 45 degree angle on the edge of the blade of the squeegee. So um, you're printing with the sharp edge of the blade, not the, the blunt flat edge of it. So first I'm gonna flood the screen. So I wanna make sure to fill the pores of the screen with ink. So I kind of rock this to get it wet all over. And then on that, that edge, that 45 degree angle edge, I'm gonna push with light pressure so that I fill the screen mesh with ink. I make sure that my mylar is nice and flat because I'm gonna print on there first. So with good pressure here, I should be able to feel the table under both of my hands. I'm gonna have solid pressure that I pull this evenly all the way through. You wanna make sure you have, you can feel the table under both of those hands. So pull, squeegee at a 45 degree angle. I kind of rock back and forth because I'm using my shoulders and my arms here in a nice even pull. If I pull really slow, I'm gonna to push too much ink through the mesh of the screen and it might start bleeding and blurring my image. So now I've printed on the Mylar and so I immediately wanna flood the screen again. I wanna make sure that the, uh, because we're working with acrylic ink, it dries out really fast. So if I flood it, it makes sure that the screen doesn't dry out quite as quick. So now I'm gonna register my second color to my already printed first layer. So I flip back the Mylar and line up the ink with my image from my first run. So I can look at all kind of the edges and the corners and make sure it's all lined up. Then I need to be really careful not to move the paper when I flip back the Mylar. And then I'm gonna put the screen down again and pull with really solid pressure. Immediately flood again. So flood, next, next sheet will go under there, register it, and then I'm gonna pull again with solid pressure. Flood again. And now uh, I can just go ahead and finish up printing the rest of my edition. So however many prints I have in the edition, I wanna go ahead and crank all those out right now. So always flooding and then pulling in between. Sometimes you have to add ink to the screen if your ink is running low, but I have plenty on the screen to make it last. I can also just scrape ink off of my squeegee if it's starting to build up on that because I don't want that dripping all over the place. But basically just crank through all of 
all however many prints you have in your edition. And once I get through all those, then it's cleanup time. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my mylar back to protect the bed of the my printing surface. I'm gonna put my tape underneath here to keep the screen from making contact with the whatever surface I'm on. And then I'm gonna start by scraping up with the spatula as much ink as I can preserve from the ink that I used and put it back into my container. So it doesn't have to be perfect here, but you wanna get most of those large chunks off because it's just more ink that I have to clean up later and we can always reuse this ink for another project. So I wanna scrape all also off the squeegee. You can't see that, that's off screen, but scrape all the ink off the squeegee as well. And then I'm gonna sponge off the screen with a damp sponge, so not wet. So it shouldn't be soaking wet because you're just gonna make a mess here. So just damp. I'm trying to break up these piles of ink and also um, get some of the ink out of the pores of the screen. So really trying to get rid of most of those clumps of ink so that when I go to the sink to start washing stuff down, I'm not washing down big chunks of ink. So I can remove the spacers and unhinge the screen. I can reuse these spacers over and over. And then I'm gonna go ahead and after I remove the screen, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my Mylar with the sponge and water as well. I can also use uh, a paper towel and soapy water at the end of this just to get rid of any sort of residue, but this should clean up really well with just the sponge and water. And then go ahead and remove your Mylar from the printing station. Make sure you leave the printing station clean the way you found it. And then I'm gonna take the screen, the spatula, the squeegee, the sponge, and the water bucket to the washout booth. And I'm gonna start First, by removing all the blue tape that I have on the screen, and then I'm gonna rinse this off with a hose, not the pressure washer. So I wanna make sure that all the ink is out of the screen. So I did most of this with the sponge and water, but I wanna uh, make sure that the screen has no ink in its pores, it has no chunks along the edges. I can use the sponge once again to kind of break up those areas if it doesn't want to come off with just the hose. You can see me sponging that off, rinsing it off, drip off the screen before removing it so you're not just dumping water on the ground, and then clean your tools. So your squeegee, your spatula, your bucket of water, your sponge, rinse that out really well. Make sure basically there's no ink left on anything. Hit all the edges of your spatula and your, your squeegee and then shut off the water, dry your tools, and put them back where you got them.